It's what I wanted to do my whole life. I mean, ever since I was a little kid, I wanted to be a makeup artist and work in, in movies and, and make monsters. And uh, well, I pinch myself every day that like my, my dream came true, and that's what I, I get paid to do. It was my hobby as a kid. I, uh, I used to make you know, monsters. My bedroom was my, my uh, makeup laboratory. And I, I slept in the midst of monsters and toxic chemicals. You know, I was born in 1950, you know, the first generation of people who grew up in front of a TV. They had a horror show host, and they would show monster movies. They had this, like, what they called the shock theater package. It was universal monster movies. I just really was attracted to those things. I mean, the classic horror films, Frankenstein, Dracula, The Wolfman. You know, you felt for the monsters. You know, I wasn't ever afraid of them. I really felt sympathy for them. My dad was a very creative man and, and uh, quite a good painter and he knew a little bit about sculpture and mold making and enough to get me started. I met John Landis and did this film called Schlock and when I did Schlock, John Landis had already written American Werewolf in London and he told me the whole story and he goes, I want you to do the makeup. He goes, I want to do a transformation in this film in, in a way that it's never been done. He goes, we both loved No Wolf Man and Jekyll and Hyde movies. He goes, it just doesn't make sense to me that, you know, like when Lon Chaney Ch Jr. changes into Wolf Man, he like sits in a chair. I mean, he would, they would do, you know, he would be in a chair like this and just be like perfectly still and like change into a werewolf. And the reason was they, the technique that they use in those days is they, you know, they put a little bit of makeup on him, they filmed him. They put a little bit more makeup on them, they filmed them, and they did a lap dissolve, and they would dissolve from you know, the, the one shot to the next to the next. So every time he changed, he'd be in a slightly different position, you know, like this, and, but still trying to be, you know, still. And, and John's thinking was, you know, John said, you know, to me, if you were changing into werewolf, you wouldn't be still, you would be all over the place, and, they, uh, and it would be painful. He goes, I want, I want to show the pain, and I want, to, I want the guy to be able to move, so you've got to figure out a way how to do this. Makeup, the kind of makeup that I was doing started becoming more in the public eye and the Academy decided to have a makeup category and it was the year that I did American Werewolf and I got this letter that I was going to be nominated for an Oscar. Can you name the movies that you won Oscars on? The first one was American Werewolf in London. I got one for a film called Harry and the Hendersons. Men in Black, I'm not sure the correct order, uh, Nutty Professor, where I made Eddie Murphy and all those characters and overweight characters. Uh, Ed Wood, who I did Martin Landau as uh, Bela Lugosi. Uh, how many is that? Uh, <laughs> my favorite, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Um, the Wolf Man. Uh, is, that, uh, is that seven of them? I lost count. Yeah, I lost count too. Something like that. <laughs> I got a call from John Landis and he goes, uh, Michael Jackson wants to do a, a music video, but he doesn't want it to be a music video. He wants it to be a short film. Uh, based on his song Thriller. He goes, he's a real fan of American Werewolf and he wants to turn into a werewolf. And, and I said, oh, I don't know, he doesn't seem like he'd be a good candidate to be putting a makeup like that on a pop star like that, you know. And, and John said, you know, I'm gonna send you the tape and you listen to the tape and get some ideas, you know. And so he sends me a tape of Thriller and I listened to it and I had it on a, it was a cassette tape at the time, you know, and I had a, two different cassette <laughs> things and I was listening to it one and talking into the other one and I was saying, I think we should do, uh, you know, they, we should have some zombies and they should dance, you know, and we should, and uh, you know, we should have one come out of a manhole. Kept coming up with all these crazy ideas and then I like pitched all the stuff to John, which he really liked, and then, then we went to Michael's house and pitched it and three days before we filmed, when, they, when the dancers were cast, you know, we had these boxes of stuff and the dancer would come in and I'd go, okay, you're a medium female, so you're, that's your appliance and you should be blue. And, and like, here, I'm gonna put this stuff in here, I'm gonna shove this in your mouth and here's your teeth. Okay, there's one, you know. And when we filmed the dance and, and I actually stood there and watched the thriller dance for the first time, you know, I, mean, I saw it, you know, before, basically before anybody. I went, you know, I, I'm, I'm witnessing something here, you know, I, uh, this, is, this is pretty cool. I mean, the thing that I'm most proud of is that I've actually made it and, and, and be able to, you know, then turn my hobby into, and, into a, a living and, and, and get awards and stuff for doing yeah. something that I love, you know. And I'm proud that I've kind of changed the way makeup's done a lot, you know, and, and, and you know, made my mark in the industry.